Normally nowadays in the game industry you'll be using substance painter to get your textures, but every now and then you'll need to break out the old toolbox and get real. Today we're going old school. In this part 1 tutorial we'll be taking two pictures I took with my Nex6 and turning them into seamless or tileable textures. They will be available for download in the description. First we'll be working with this grassy photo. What we want to do is to have our marquee tool selected. Press M on the keyboard. Then we're going to click and shift drag out a perfect square to a value that's greater than 2048. So about like that. And don't worry about getting some of the stone in there, that's fine. Then we're going to press Control C to copy it. And then we're going to go to File, New. And then in here, we'll press 2048. 2048. And our resolution, uh, we can leave this at 350. But let's change that to 72. Alright, and then let's press Control V. Next, what we want to do is go up to Filter. And then go down to Other, and then to Offset. Now we want our offset to be half of what our image size was. So in this case, it's going to be 1024 by 1024. And you want the undefined areas to be wraparound. Then press OK. Now you'll see that there's this lines here. Now we don't want that there because this image obviously does not tile very well. Because if you were to take this into Unity, this is what you would get at the edge of every texture. So we're going to change that by selecting our clone tool. Press S on the keyboard. This is a clone stamp tool. So now we need to go up to our brush. Make sure that it is circular. And change the hardness all the way up to 100. If you don't have the hardness at 100, your texture may end up looking blurry, and we do not want that. So now, let's change our brush size. Oops. Change our brush size to something a little smaller. Like that. Then hold Alt on your keyboard. And let's click over here. Now we're just going to clone over these lines. And then feel free to click somewhere else. Because you don't want the entire image to look the same. And also you don't want large details like this spread out around your image and the reason why that is is because these are known as artifacts and if you have big noticeable artifacts like this as your image tiles it'll be very noticeable and it won't look it will just won't look right once you get it into the game engine so let's just keep working at this here, over here, let's get rid of that, And there we go. That's actually looking pretty good. Some of these, the cross lines might be a little hard to notice. But don't worry. Sometimes this just takes a little bit of time. Some textures, you don't have to rush your way through it. Alright, now we're going to go back to Filter, 
I'm going to go to offset again. That looks pretty decent there. So you get some artifacts right there. Go like that. That's going to be pretty dark right there. So let's go to here. Go there. Go here. And let's go here. And uh, let's cover that back up. That's still looking pretty dark. There we go. That should look pretty good. Let's go to offset again. Sometimes you have to go back through offset quite a few times just to make sure your texture looks right. But I'm looking... I, I'm pretty happy with how this is looking. Alright, so now let's move on to our dirt texture. We're going to do basically the same thing. I'm going to select our marquee tool. Now you may notice this is pretty dark on one side and pretty light on the other side. So what you'll have to do is pretty much what you had done you saw there was the stone on the grass image. So it's pretty much the same thing. Don't be afraid, you're just getting rid of the, the dark, just like you'd be getting rid of the stone. All right, I'm pretty happy with how these turned out. In part two, I will show you how we can import these into Unity and begin painting on a terrain. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe. If you want to see more, please also like and subscribe. I now have a Patreon, so please head on over to my Patreon. The link for my Patreon and the images used in this tutorial are found in the description. Man, these peanut M&M's, peanut butter M&M's, are freaking delicious. My goodness. Why do you get so fat eating these?